Well, hello. I'm Nell Seldy, Assistant Professor of Human Genetics here at the University of Utah. And I'm happy to tell you today about a surprising mechanism of adaptive evolution we discovered for viruses that infect humans and other species. Come on, let's have a look. We were intrigued by data showing that large DNA viruses can have mutation rates orders of magnitude lower than RNA viruses like HIV and influenza. DNA viruses with large genomes and low mutation rates still have to adapt to the same hosts that have diverse and rapidly evolving immune systems. To address this fundamental question, we turned to vaccinovirus, the model pox virus, to experimentally determine how it might adapt to host immunity. We took advantage of the fact that a lot is known about vaccinia biology, including viral proteins that counteract protein kinase R, an important component of innate immunity. On infection, PKR is activated to phosphorylate its substrate, which leads to a robust block in protein translation and shuts down the cell as a virus factory. Vaccinia encodes E3L and K3L that each specifically inhibit PKR in different ways. In order to test how the virus might adapt, we used a strain where E3L had been deleted, which puts strong selective pressure on K3L to defeat PKR. This set the stage for our main experiment. To see how vaccinia might adapt to host defenses, we took the E3L deletion virus and began serial passaging it in HeLa cells, which express wild-type human PKR. After only 10 passages in culture, all of our replic virus populations showed tenfold increases in replication. Deep sequencing revealed dramatic copy number amplification of K3L that were necessary and sufficient for increased replication. Some viruses in the population have as many as 15 to 20 copies of K3L per genome. Further analysis of the adapted viruses revealed the subsequent appearance of a mutation in K3L resulting in an H47R substitution that also increases vaccinia replication. However, we were left with an important question because large gene families are relatively rare among pox viruses. And so how is it that there are not more examples of gene amplifications in these genomes? A compelling answer to our question came when we did an additional experiment passaging the virus in a cellar line from a different host species, which removes selective pressure from K3L amplifications. In all cases, the duplicated arrays of K3L collapsed down to fewer copies, and in one case left only a single copy of K3L with the H47R mutation. Therefore, it appears that vaccinia can adapt to host defenses with genomic accordion-like dynamics where genomes expand locally, sample mutations, and then contract when conditions change, like in cases of host switching. I conducted much of the work reported in this paper as a postdoc in Harmeet Malik's lab at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center in Seattle, and in collaboration with Adam Jabal's Laboratory of Virology and Jay Shinduri's lab in Genome Sciences at the University of Washington. Together, our experiment suggests that viruses can adapt to host defenses with genome accordion-like features involving transient genome expansions that promote the sampling of many mutations. We really hope you enjoy the paper, and thanks for watching. Off of the shell. La 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 la. la.